Welcome biologists and in today's session we're going to be looking at gene mutations which is taken from cellular biology from the OCR specification for A-level biology. I highly advise that before you do go through this video you just recap over protein production so transcription and translation to understand how this can impact upon uh, how gene mutations can impact upon proteins. So I've got a couple of definitions that are popping up here, not going to read through them all, just want to highlight that top one for you which has been taken directly from the MART scheme. It's really important we know that one. Uh, so a mutation. A mutation is a change to the DNA bases or nucleotides and there are two general types that you need to know about. There's a chromosomal mutation and then there's a gene mutation and we're going to look at some of these in a bit more detail. So gene mutations, there are three general types here. We've got substitution, insertion or deletion. So substitution, as you can see here in this image, we've changed the A base to a G. And this can cause either a missense, a nonsense, or a silent mutation. And we're going to look at these on the next couple of slides. An insertion, so this is where we insert more than one or more bases. So as you can see here, in this, into this sequence here, I've inserted uh, this, um, which will impact downstream from this mutation, which we'll talk about in a minute. I've then got deletion, an example of deletion. So for example, here the CC has delete, been deleted to form, to form this sequence. Now, insertions and deletions, these are the ones that um, are more likely to have a bigger impact upon the protein structure and then therefore function because um, what they cause is a frame shift, uh, which is where um, the the sequence isn't read as it normally would be. Uh, and every codon down, downstream or after the mutation is affected by this frame shift. The protein will have a different sequence of amino acids and therefore a different tertiary structure. And if my protein has a different tertiary structure, it is more likely to have a different function too. So these um, substitution mutations that we were just talking about, one of the ones it can cause is a missense mutation. And this is where a missense um, codes for a different amino acid. So as you can see here, this A here has changed to C, and this will code for a different amino acid. So it's gone from his to pro. It might help to look at the code on coding wheel as well to understand this in a little bit more detail if you want to Google that image. Now, because it's only changed one amino acid, it's not likely to have a massive impact on the overall functionality of the protein, but it could do. It could do, but not a high chance of that happening. A nonsense mutation, this is where I've had a substitution. So my C has changed into a T. But here what's happened is um, it no longer codes for the amino acid GLN. It codes for a stop codon. So you've actually stopped translation here. Uh, so obviously this will produce a much shorter polypeptide chain, which will impact upon the functionality of the proton, protein because it's not going to be as long. A silent mutation, so this is another example of a substitution mutation. So here my C has been changed into a U. But again, have a look at the code on wheel here. Google the code on wheel and have a look. This has gone from a cis to a cis. It still codes for the same amino acid. And this is called a degenerate nature of the code. Degenerate means I've got more than one uh, code on code for a certain amino acid. So deletions and mutations, as I mentioned before, um, Insertions and deletions will cause a frame shift and you can kind of see that here because an A has been deleted, um, I've, the whole of the codons downstream from here have now shifted and code for different amino acids as you can see in this image here. And this will result in a different tertiary structure and then therefore a different function for that protein. So there you are, we've looked at the substitution, insertion and deletions of more than one nucleotide. We're just going to have a quick look at whole chromosomal mutations now. So an example of a whole chromosome mutation is Down syndrome, where I have an extra copy of chromosome 21, as you can see here. Um, so that's a duplication of a chromosome. So there are a couple of bits and pieces here to go over. So first of all, we've got deletion. This is where a section of a chromosome breaks off and is lost within the cell. We have duplication, where sections or an entire chromosome are duplicated. We could have translocation, as you see here. A section of a chromosome breaks off and joins another uh, non-homologous chromosome. Or inversion, so a section of the chromosome breaks off, is reversed, and then joins back on. So there we are, we've covered the different gene mutations and the possible impacts on the protein production and function. 
Guys, remember in your exam, don't use the word it's they amount and size. And good luck.